sinus infections for months, maybe six months. So I would barely get a little clear and then get another infection. And um, the headaches just get gradually worse. So you don't know, wake up with this horrible headache. It just gradually builds, so it just never really went away. So you just get used to living with a headache, but you don't even, I don't, you know, it didn't seem that bad to me because it was gradual. I've on and off had trouble for, for many years, maybe five to six years. And it's embarrassing to be in a group of people all the time and be blowing your nose and coughing, and it's obvious that you need to spit out and yeah and you go on overnight trips with girlfriends and you're the one coughing all night keeping people awake and it's just you feel uncomfortable all the time and as I said you've got the ongoing headache that's you don't realize that you're grimacing but my friends would say you know you have a, have a frown on your face <laughs> I think I'm a much happier person. Yeah, that I'm not sick all the time and that I'm not um, trying to decide what mucinex to take or, or uh, you know, how much to do your nose and how much not to do it. And the breathing, that being able to breathe through your nose and um, be comfortable, have enough breath. I think I lived without enough breath for a, for a long time. I'm not a real active, like as far as athletic person, so I wouldn't say that, you know, that kept me. But I have seven grandchildren that I'm chasing all the time, and uh, I, need, I, needed, I needed my energy and my breath, and I have that back. So that feels great. Knowing that I was, my health was not good, I did experience a, an episode of some headaches that were... Uh, so badly. I saw him on a Monday, and by the time I got home, the headache was severe enough that he had given me hydrocodone. And I called him and said, I've taken the one every six hours, and it hasn't touched it at all. And uh, the next day, uh, my husband called him and said, I don't think she can make it to surgery. She's in bad shape. She's throwing up. It's terrible pain. And so uh, Dr. DeFries said, bring her to the emergency, and we'll get her clearer today so she can have her surgery tomorrow. And the next morning when he did the surgery and I came out of surgery, I've never taken a pain pill again. The headaches were gone and I could not breathe fully yet because I still had the packings, but it was such relief to be free of that pain, which I didn't even realize it had built up to that point that I would take morphine. And the next day after the surgery, I didn't take a pain pill. Well, everybody, everybody fears the packing, and I have friends who will say, oh gosh, I don't think I'll ever do that because of the packings. And, um, and I had concern about it too. When I asked Dr. DeFridis, he was very, he's, he's a very forthright person. He's not trying to cushion it for you or anything. He said, uh, you probably won't notice the packings um, because they are the kind that dissolve. So from the moment you get home, you will begin using the um, bottle to flush your sinuses, and that will gradually remove the packings as they need to be removed. And the first time I came back, there were some still some pieces in that he needed to remove, and he did that without any discomfort at all. In fact, it just feels better because there's not anything else in there, that, so you can get a good full breath. Of course, it's wonderful that you can get a good, clean breath, yeah. and I just, I couldn't believe it. I could have a surgery like that and not need any sort of pain medication after. It felt relief. It didn't feel painful at all. It felt like relief. I'd say probably more like three weeks till I felt like I had my energy back. I, would, I was feeling better and better and better, but I would say it takes you that long uh, you know, I'm 58 years old, to get my strength um, back where I felt like every day I could get up and go get them and not feel like waiting for the end of the day. By three weeks I was breathing great and feeling great and my family 
noticed a difference in my attitudes and in the way I felt. I would say that there's not pain involved. You, it's painful before, but from the moment you come out of surgery, it's relief. Because the infection is gone, the pressure in your head is gone, um, the sleepless nights, and uh, just knowing that you have infection in your body for that long. Um, it's just not a good thing. And you have to go to the source of the problem. You can't just keep taking antibiotics and hope it will go away, because it won't.